Hello guys, uh, welcome to the show and today we have a very special guest that needs no real introduction, Mr. John McAfee. Hello, uh, I'm glad to be on your show. Thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting me. I'm glad to have you. Uh, obviously everyone, almost everyone knows who you are and what you do, but personally I'm actually interested in what made you interested in cryptos and blockchain in general. Like, how did that? Start? Uh, you know, it, it, I, you know, I'm 74, and I've been I've been in technology my whole life, um, and I shift yeah. from one thing to another. Always in obviously software engineering and, and computer science. And that's all I know. Um, mm -hmm. But um, when viruses came out, I you know I threw myself into that. You know, got McAfee up and running. I wasn't going to do anti-virus my whole life. No, you know, it was up and running. I hired competent management and left. I formed Tribal Voice, uh, the first instant messaging system. And, uh, mm. When that was done, I up and left. And then I co-founded Zone Labs, which uh, we sold one year later to a checkpoint for $400 million. Um, and on and on and on. I just I'm a serial entrepreneur. I just do what right. what interests me, and if it no longer interests me, I move on. Uh, and right now, cryptocurrency interests me. Uh, I got interested through a friend of mine named uh, Jim Saramski, a software engineer that's mm -hmm. worked for me a bunch of times, and, um, and he told me about it, and that was in 2011. Oh, and uh, uh, like I realized, I realized that. <clears throat> this is yeah. This is definitely world changing, as much as computer science itself is world changing, um, uh, and not just world changing. It's it's unique in that it's the uh, only world changing technology that's come from the people, uh, rather than governments or um, uh, you know secret programs or huge corporations. No, it came from the people, owned by the people. At least. The, all, certainly all the open source is owned by the people. Um, and this is freaking governments out. I mean, yeah. we developed something and we're using it ourselves. You know, they didn't keep it behind closed doors for 25 years like they do with most new technology. No, the people got it. Governments are now behind, you understand? Uh, roles have changed. And governments are trying to take it over, but but they can't, not really. Right. I mean, governments look for every government to form its own cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. It'll have to. We all know this. That doesn't mean we have to use it, people, because whatever cryptocurrency is developed by our already overburdensome government uh, is going to be even more burdensome. It's going to know everything that you do, not just where you are, and, but it's every penny you spend and what for and to whom instantly right. all right is that what you want i don't think so right. whereas if you want to use monero and and a, a distributed exchange and just say listen my finances are my fucking business nobody else's and um i'm going to use whatever cryptocurrency i want and mm -hmm. governments may outlaw that but who cares i mean governments outlawed marijuana yeah. 75 yeah. years for 75 years of serious penalties some cases years in prison just for possession yeah. and yet did it stop it no you can't stop people from grabbing things that are beneficial to them and their families and their livelihood and using it any damn well way they please mm -hmm. um. You look very good for 74, by the way. Just, just oh, thank you. Know. Uh, do you hear that, Janice? <laughs> this, this, my young gentleman Hello. said I look very, I look very good for my 74 years. My wife is 35, and uh, therefore, uh, I, you know, you I got to look be good. <laughs> on, on, on my best behavior as well as my best appearance. Uh, speaking about, uh, you, you, you said in the past that. You think, well, I mean, you think taxation is illegal, right? Specifically income tax, right? Well, in, in America. Only yeah, in America. I don't, in know the, I don't know the constitutional structures of, mm -hmm. of other countries well enough to know. But certainly in America, absolutely. It is unconstitutional. 
-hmm. and we did not have one for the first 170 years of our existence. Mm -hmm. We only got income taxes in, two, in, in uh, 1913. Prior to that, we had none, and we thrived as a country. Now, how did we do that without income taxes? Well, please, people, look it up because I get that all the time. There are thousands of ways to fund the government without income taxes. It is the most burdensome and cruel of all taxes. It makes you, my friends, work for one, two, three, or sometimes four months out of the year for your government. Please, God, people, see the the horror of this so you're saying it's it's not needed right we don't need no that. of course it's not needed why don't you why don't you um uh, do a levy on road use and charge people 10 cents for every mile they drive on road so that's fair <laughs> you didn't build the roads you should pay for them, right 10 cents a mile i promise you we can all afford that we drive hundreds of trillions of miles in America from the government from that, I don't fucking know. But the income tax requires the government to do no work. We do all the work. Who right. fills out the forms? We do. Why should, they should have staffs of people filling out fucking forms yeah. and adding them up. No, they make us do it. They make us tell them, well, it's their fucking job, and besides, it's none of their business if it's the money that I legitimately and legally made from the sweat of my brow. However that sweat is produced, mm -hmm. whether it's farming or sitting in an office all day long or flying a fucking airplane, it's yeah. still the sweat of your brow. And nobody deserves a piece of that except for you. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even worse, if you make a any mistake you can get like fined for that easily and even jail time right oh yes yeah so uh, <laughs> what, what are you drinking um, um cabernet wine? sauvignon oh. yeah wine cabernet, cabernet sauvignon hmm. nice so uh you recently started your uh, decentralized exchange. I know you are a big supporter of decentralization in general, uh, but what motivated you to start the the exchange? I mean, because without exchanges like this, which are both decentralized and distributed, mm -hmm. governments will shut us down. We need to understand that as governments become more and more fearful of crypto, they're going to lash out. They're going to create their own cryptocurrencies and demand you use them. And how are they going to shut down the ones that we have created, like Bitcoin and Monero and Ethereum mm -hmm. and on and on and on, by shutting down our exchanges? If our exchanges are centralized people, it doesn't matter how decentralized crypto is. If we depend on a centralized exchange for it to work, we're fucked. And like China, two years ago, shut down suddenly and overnight every exchange in China. Yeah. How easy was that? You knew where they lived. They had an address. They were using electricity. They, you knew exactly. You could cut off electricity or arrest the people or set fire to the machines right. or just order everybody out of the building. Whatever. They shut them down. You cannot shut down my exchange, people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. can, including me. I can't shut it down because the exchange is a system of smart contracts on the blockchains that can't ever be eradicated. They can arrest me. They can take the name McAfeeDex.com. It doesn't matter. We already have over 30 portals mm -hmm. all over the world under different domain names. Plus, domains are now coming out on that are blockchain based and cannot be taken away from you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you love that? As long as you got the keys, that's your freaking domain and you may use it. Um, so we are going to win people if we hurry. 
we can't dally. We can't we can't spend all of the time going ah. We're going to use crypto for making money and ignore the golden key inside of all of this, which is the key to unlock the cage of your financial slavery. People, you are a slave to the fiat currencies, U.S. dollar, the yen, the pound, the euro. You are a slave to it because it's controlled by someone else, and you can't survive without it. You can't pay the rent, buy a car, send your kids to school, get medical care. Nothing without it. That is your cage. Cryptocurrency is not a cage, but an infinite world of possibilities that we enter when we step out of that cage. And to step out of it, we have to see this infinite world of possibilities not as a way to get rich and make money, but as a way to free ourselves from financial control. And we can only do that, not by investing and holding, but by using it for its intended purpose. Buy things with it. Sell mm -hmm. things with it. People, please God, if we don't, we have lost the brightest gift that if gods exist that they have given us since the gift of fire yeah no i mean as you said there are obviously a lot of advantages with uh, decentralized exchanges uh for instance I'm on sorry? yours you can you can uh, list any token you want uh, oh yeah yeah we don't charge for free oh, well, hang on this is, this is not a money making deal for us obviously we don't charge any listing fees you want to list a coin press the button at the top of the page put in the technical specs you're listed you don't need our permission and you certainly don't have to pay us anything or pay anybody right. anything now what's what's the negative of this well the negative of this is you could invent some scam coin and get the technical specs and list it and right. then go out somewhere that we can't even see and start promoting it and mm -hmm. using these chains to buy. But so what? So what? People use automobiles as getaway cars. The, the, the mob uses telephones and instant messages to coordinate criminal activities across America. Yeah. Does that mean that we should reduce everybody's flexibility and, and possibilities with telephones and cars and everything? No. We can't get rid of crime ever. It's in the human nature. We're loving and gracious and, and kind, but we're also greedy and hostile and jealous. And we're a mixed fucking bag until you fix that. Don't try to fix crime. And certainly don't put it on me to apprehend and arrest criminals, which mm -hmm. is what the world is doing. They're putting onto the technologists and the creators the burden of identifying the criminals but to do that, we have to burden all people. Mm -hmm. To watch for criminal activity, we have to watch everybody. Please see this, people. This is the horror. This is the fundamental problem. Right, right. I don't yeah, know how we, we got off on this. I, I, I yeah. forgot your question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I, I believe, yeah, you, you did say a few times that you think, uh, you know, exchanges shouldn't be responsible for you know, like preventing the this type no, of not, e not, not, not even just exchanges, nothing. Because really, if they force exchanges to do KYC and, and money yeah, laundering, yeah. eventually if you're manufacturing bicycles, they're going to force you to put a locator and a, a uh, camera and microphone just to make sure that if somebody steals your bike, you will then make it easier for the police to apprehend them. Well, fuck that. It's your job, people, as policemen, all right? Not right. mine. My job is to create the best possible thing I can create, and I cannot do it carrying the weight of bureaucratic idiocy upon my back. All right. So, well, we, we were talking about uh, the exchange. I mean, obviously, the biggest problem with any decentralized exchange is that it just doesn't have the functions of... Uh, centralized exchanges right but you did say well, yours 
could become in the future, right? Could be. Well, not just could, it will. I mean, it will? we're in beta test, people. This is a beta version, even though it right. works. Uh, it's only, right now, it's, it's only Ethereum. At midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, we are bringing up Tron on the mm -hmm. network. By the first of the year, we'll be bringing up Binance, EOS, and NEO. Um, and then the second quarter of next year, we will have cross-chain transactions. You know what that means? Any token in the world, uh -huh. with the exception of Bitcoin. It's an old technology, mm -hmm. but we're working on that. But every other coin in the world can be traded for any other coin in the world. We charge no maker fees. We charge only a quarter of 1% taker fees. And that's not even going to fund us. You realize it's people. And yet we have to do it. Because if I don't do it, I've been sitting around going, okay, why don't you younger kids? I've been talking about it. Why don't, why don't you younger kids pick up mm -hmm. that ball and build this motherfucker? And nobody did. So I stepped in and here we are. Here we are, yeah. Uh... But do you do you think that we are ever gonna be able to get rid of like everything that's centralized, like banks and all that? Or do you think like that yes. we need yes. some centralization? Yes. No, we need no centralization, Nothing. people. Centralization is the beginning of corrupt powers. This is true. This is the way it works. Once once people get control over other people, corruption just sneaks the fuck in. It can't be changed. No. We want a world where even if you're the richest motherfucker around, you've got no control over the money supply. Mm -hmm. And cryptocurrency with the proper blockchain gives us that assurance. I don't care if you have 99% of all the money, you're no more powerful in terms of the ability to force or make or impair someone else's ability to either earn a living or be free. Yeah, make as much as you want. This is the ideal world where you can have financial success and plenty without fucking with other people. <laughs> like kings and queens and dukes and earls and counts and sheriffs on down. And do you think this is going to happen like in the next five years or 20 years or? It's not going to happen in the next five It's not going to happen in the next it's five years. It's not going to happen, right? Of course not. However, the ever the ever increasing pace of technological change um, combined with our oddly <laughs> flexible natures in terms of adapting new technologies while abandoning the old mm -hmm. might make it possible in 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, this is just my personal curiosity, but uh, I don't know. I never, I never seen you talk about the uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook <laughs> new cryptocurrency. Excuse me. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The wine. I was trying to speak while I was drinking wine. <laughs> Bad idea. I've, I've never, I've never succeeded before. But I thought, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just 74. I've got a lot of fucking experience. I should be able to do this. I don't. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> we'll, we'll put a disclaimer. We'll put a disclaimer. Okay. Woo! I'm sorry. I, I, I oddly missed that question. Uh, yeah. Uh, the uh, new cryptocurrency that Facebook is building, Do you are you interested in that at all? <laughs> I'm definitely interested in it because it is a threat to the people, to the freedom, to individual sovereignty. That's what it's a threat to, because it's just like what governments are going to build. Mm -hmm. It's not going to free you in any way. It's going to make buying shit more convenient. <coughs> That's all. However, it is definitely going to give Facebook, and therefore the U.S. government, and therefore the FBI and covert services, access to your every fucking move. Not just where you are, who you live, what you like. But no, but every penny you make comes in and goes out, and when, and to whom. Now imagine the nightmare of analysis that people could make from that to control you. So no, good God, it's a horror, an abomination of the idea of cryptocurrency. 
people see there's only two paths here. You adhere to the government's increased control by the mm -hmm. application of this blockchain technology to controlling you more, or there's us freeing ourselves from government. Option two is clearly what we all want, but we can only do that, people. We can only free ourselves if we stop this madness of looking at crypto as just a marketplace in which we can make money. Because it is not a marketplace if you are not using it for its intended purpose, which is abandon the dollar, the yen, the pound, and adhere to crypto purchases. There's nothing in this world you can't buy with crypto if you try. Houses, mansions, airplanes, private fucking islands, mm -hmm. suits, shirts, shoes, bulletproof vests, nothing. Trust me. I keep my nose close to the ground here. So why are you still using the fucking dollar? Free yourselves and free yourselves soon or else. We are looking at a totalitarian, not just the United States government, but a totalitarian world, the likes of which would make 1984 look like a Julie Andrews movie. But I mean, do you think people are not using them because? they don't know about them or because they're scared of them in no <coughs> way or no 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 they're not using them because instead people are using them obviously look at the volume on the yeah. exchange but they're only using them to exchange yeah you see the insanity in that without a foundation of use of utility that exchange is going to collapse you will stop making money fast use the goddamn coins people buy shit with it sell stuff with it make it a true economy or else this is just pie in the sky which because out of laziness and greed we as humans either we're not prepared or not deserving of this right but right now if you how how <coughs> How can you convince a business, for instance, to actually accept a cryptocurrency payment? You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't have to. You don't have to convince anybody of anything, my friend. Did you have to convince people at the beginning of the dot-com era prior to the Internet? When the internet came along, did you have to go and knock on doors like, please do? No, fuck no. You did your thing, knowing that the quicker you got in, the more you're going to make and the happier you're going to be. You didn't care about convincing. Mm -hmm. What convinced people was the fact that there were people out there using it and making more fucking money with less expenses. Now, if we just do the same thing, Good God, see how it works. People are out there buying stuff, but they're not buying stuff from me. They're buying it from so-and-so. Why? Because you, I promise you, salesmen and market analysis are going to knock on the president's door immediately when they see this and go, hey, we got to accept cryptocurrency. Why? Our competitor just did. All right? And it starts small. It doesn't start with a major company. It starts with the local, mm -hmm. the local food shops going, you know, and someone going, you want Coke or Pepsi if, uh, for your uh, your diner? And they go, I don't know. Do you accept crypto? <laughs> Please, that's how it works. We don't have to do anything to convince others. The problem, mm -hmm. people, is not with others. It's with you and me. It's us. We are responsible as members of the crypto community to use this fucking money for what it was intended. Else, it's all for nothing. It's all for nothing. Mm. Are you uh, like currently working on a new project? Uh, new... <laughs> Listen, I, if the Dex is not a new project, I don't know what is. It and is, it's it gonna, is for sure. But I know you're a busy guy, so. And it's going to require my full-time attention for 
for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't have time for anything. Well, you're still running for president, right? Oh, of course. I'm always running <laughs> for president. I mean, as soon as I, as soon as I lost the nomination for the Libertarian Party, I started running again. I mean, so what? Uh, that doesn't take much. Okay, I have an organization set up. Uh, my campaign manager and the regional manager is from my 2016 campaign. So it's a sort of like a machine that all I got to do is once a day smile and send a note to somebody and then get back to work. Is that to just promote cryptocurrencies in general? You're no, absolutely not, my friend. No, no I'm, not, I'm not running to promote cryptocurrencies. I'm running to tell the world about the problems I just explained to you as I see them. I may not have explained anything. I may be totally insane. Most people think I am. Um, but uh, to me, I see a problem. And I have, I have children and grandchildren. And many of you out there have children and grandchildren. At my age, I only have one responsibility, and that is to turn over to my children a better world than the one I arrived in. And if I am unable to do that, it does not matter how much money I have or how much, because it's not turning over a better family, because families come and go. The dynasties of the great pharaohs and the emperors of Rome, and the kings and queens of Europe have proved that family comes and goes, but people, people, we, we continue. And so it's to the human race we have obligations. Um, and my obligation now is to say what I've gathered in 74 years of living, uh, to even to me, an extraordinary existence, um, learning and seeing things that many people do not get the chance to see. And what am I going to do with that? Tell, tell stories with my friends and we'll go, oh, wow, or, or to make sense out of it and try to regurgitate some in a form that is useful to the future, and that's why I'm running. I see. Um, and I think I think we have time for one more question. Yeah. So it's just one more. Do you still? I mean, obviously, you, you predicted Bitcoin to 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 be one million, then two million, right? Do you still yes. think Bitcoin should be the number one cryptocurrency, or? I don't think it is the number one cryptocurrency. It's way not. The number one cryptocurrency. It's just the one that has the most volume the most value, right? on trade of it. No, nobody uses Bitcoin anymore. Good God Almighty, it is slow, clunky, and, and inconvenient. No, people use all kinds of DAI. You know, if, if they're, it depends on what they want to do. You know, if you if you want mm -hmm. to store something in a very safe haven relative to U.S. currency, use DAI. You know, I use it. It never goes one penny up or one penny down from the U.S. dollar. Therefore. I can safely say use it without any anybody saying you're trying to pump it. You can't be pumped. Right? It is designed on the blockchain and smart contracts so that it can't be pumped. However, the fact that it can't be pumped makes it stable. You can't be dumped either. It can't either be pumped or dumped. Right. It's always a dollar. Well, one penny up, one penny down, no more. Um, so that would be one. Uh, Monero, Jesus God, I mean, that's the best of the privacy coins, and um, it's been around for a long time, and it is as solid as a rock. Um, so, no, a Bitcoin's not number one, it's down there maybe 350 or, or, or further. Good God Almighty. See, this is the problem. People go, Bitcoin's number one. It is? Oh, you're talking about money. Fuck the money, people. It's going to come and go, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. But the power you gain from using it, or even if you want to use Bitcoin, please God, I'm not saying don't use it, please God, don't use it. Please God, be my guest. I will encourage you. But use something for fuck's sake, or else this entire dream will collapse in on itself. And if it does that, I pray to God I don't want to be around to see it. Because we will have missed people an opportunity not of a lifetime or an era, but an opportunity that comes once, maybe twice, in any species' existence. That 
changes the environment to the point that that species can to evolve into a higher form. This is it. It ain't not going to come back. How are you going to sit there, smoke your weed, and watch your TV, and have your sex, or watch your porn, and ride your bike? Or are you going to take the bars of the cage? Because even if you're sitting, smoking weed, and riding your bike, I promise you, you are still a slave. You just out on leave, people. Because your world is not sitting around smoking weed 24 hours a day in those cases. No, you've got to at some point adhere to the system by entering one of its cages, the cage of the, um, the office worker, certainly one of the worst, uh, the cage of the factory worker, followers, the cage of whatever your profession may be, because your profession will not exist and cannot exist outside of the support of the system, which you know is corrupt and decayed. So, you want out of that? Or do you want to continue to ride your bike on weekends and, and do your time, eight hours a day, five days a week for 40 fucking years? Or do you? Want to free yourself. Do you realize how seldom opportunities like this come around? And once here, honest now, forget personalities. Forget this is a better token, that is a better token. And what you're talking about is is it going to drop in value or not? I'm not saying stop doing that because you won't. We are greedy creatures. But I'm saying if you have any common sense, you will know that you are only able to do that because there are still some of us working diligently to move our lives away from fiat currency and into the blockchain and crypto. If you're not one of them, then you're not one of us. And contact me, I will tell you how to make more money on Wall Street. Why it's more fucking predictable. So if that's why you're here, you're not here for us, and you're not here for you. You're here for money, and you cannot help us. And I want to thank you for having me on your show. Thank you for being here. It was a pleasure. Uh, I hope I have not bored you too much. No, no, not really. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> talk to you later. Right. See ya. Bye.